I'm Damon Waite, and this is my lovely assistant, Rockfish. We're at Wrench and Rodent right now, and we're gonna show you how to uh, dry age this little guy. First, we wanna remove these fins. Definitely uh, don't wanna take this to the knuckles. A lot of the bacteria hides between the scales. And if we're gonna be dry aging in a manner that we wanna keep the skin, we wanna get all the little pockets shaved down when we get the scales off. With rockfish, you do have this lateral line right here. Kinda of wanna cut, get it out of the way first and then you can cut on one side of it or the other. You know, not everybody, if you're doing this at home, you know, you can use a normal scaler and um, for these fish with uh, smaller scales and more of them, um, definitely wing cod, black cod. A metal scrubber works really well, as long as you're real gentle with the meat. Rinse out the stomach cavity. Hear that pop? That got us through the collars. We just want to gently rip the gills out. So blood is one of the first things that kind of goes bad and gets funky on here. So getting this out and getting as much blood as possible out before the dry aging process is gonna be super helpful. And we can actually just score the bone and we're gonna go rinse this out really well. Today is December 10th. We know exactly what we're dealing with. So the final step is to give it a little vinegar bath. It's a, an acid that kills a lot of bacteria, and the good thing is, is it's also food safe. Um, as long as we don't get this on any uh, open meat, keep it on membranes. It's gonna do a great job of safely uh, inhibiting bacterial growth while this is aging. So we're just gonna spray, get a nice coating, and pat this fish dry. Slice through the skin, pop it through the bones, and there we go. So he went in December 10th, and this is just to kind of show what even two days of dry aging will do for a rockfish. You can see that the meat has firmed up significantly. Rockfish doesn't really have a reputation of being super oily. With the excess water gone, you see that there's definitely oils present. The flavor is definitely kind of intensified and settled. You also see that it's just a super clean fish too.